Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the different types of unit testing frameworks for JavaScript that are available in the market. Let's try to see it. We have two, normally we know that we have two types of testing frameworks commonly available. So that is for your, so those testing frameworks which are used, which, which need to do for unit testing and also the integration testing. And the another type of testing frameworks are which perform the E2E testing. E2E testing means the nothing but the browser thing. So these are the two types of testings we available and we need to have these two types of testing frameworks also. Now let's come to the unit testing frameworks. What are the unit testing frameworks that are exclusively available in the JavaScript? So we have learned right so about the testing frameworks that are which which are the testing frameworks available for unit testing and also for the E2E testing. Now for the unit testing frameworks, these are the commonly used unit testing frameworks. First one is Mocha, Jest, Jasmine, Tape and the QUnit. So these are the common unit testing frameworks which you will be using in the data, which you will be able to see in the market. So now there are also some other things also, but these are the most, most common things. Okay. Most popular also. We have learned about the testing tools previously. So we have learned about these testing. So what are the testing tools uh, available in uh, things it should be for the testing frameworks we have learned. In order to test, we need to have testing structure, assertion library and how you want to run the test. So normally when you want to write the test, so these are the three things you need to have for a testing framework. First one is testing structure. So the how you will be writing the testing and the assertion library. So you need to check the assertion, uh, assertion and all those things. You need to have the assertion library and and how to run the test. So now writing the test is completed. Maintaining the structure is completed. Now we need to run the test and also we need to have some possibility to run the test. So these are the three main things which you want to have in a framework. So some frameworks like just Jasmine, Testcave, Cypress, these are all the some frameworks, testing frameworks provide all these out of the box. What are the things we have discussed? So these are nothing but testing structure, assertion library and also running the test. So these are all some of the frameworks like just Jasmine, these all frameworks provide all of these out of the box. Some of them provide only some of the functionality. So that means some test frameworks provide all the functionalities, all the things which are needed for us to run the test. They, they will provide all the functionalities, but some testing frameworks provide only some of the functionality and we need to use the combination of the libraries. So in order to get the whole testing frameworks and a combination of libraries can be used. So this is the two types of testing frameworks we have in the market. I suggest creating two different process. Normally what I will try to do is, so we, I will suggest you to create two different process. That means one for running unit test and integration test and another one for running E to E test. So that means you need to use a two type, two test frameworks. So which first framework is useful for running the unit test and integration test and another framework is used for the E to E test. This is because E to E test, that means functional testing usually takes much longer to run, especially when running the test suit on several different browsers. Okay, because ETU test takes so much time to run, especially we want to check in the different different browsers, right? So we need to open the browser and we need to check it all the things that software has to check it. So for that reason, it will take a lot of time. So for that reason, unit test and integration test should be separate and ETA test should be separate. Unit and integration test can run on the fly as your code using as you, you as your code using watch mode because they finish running in seconds so unit test and integration tests run on the fly so whenever you are changing the code they will be in the watch mode immediately they will run in seconds on the other hand etu tests are usually launched before merges and releases in some companies it takes hours to finish running all the etu tests so this is etu test usually we will not run all the time so whenever we have, whenever our uh, functionality or everything release is completed so then only we will check this ETU test at the final and normally this ETU test for a mid range or big projects, it will take hours to finish. There are running all these ETU tests. So now let's try to see about the frameworks. Now just is the testing framework created and maintained by the Facebook. So just is one of the popular testing framework, unit testing framework commonly used in react and other JavaScript applications also. So it is created and maintained by the Facebook. It was initially based on the Jasmine. Jasmine. So that means Jasmine is also one of the testing framework. So these are all uh, testing structure uh, The it follows is the BDD type of things. So it supports the BDD framework. So now here it is initially based on the Jasmine. So that means it follows the Jasmine structure. 
so one main thing we have, uh, why jest should be considered is the performance first of all jest is considered to be faster for big projects with many test files by implementing a clever parallel testing mechanism so this is the reason performance so it is very fast so if you are having thousands of thousands of test cases so it will run very faster by using clever parallel testing mechanism Jest also provides snapshot testing. So we know about the snapshot testing, mocking, and also the code coverage tool. So normally code coverage tool also we have a separate testing libraries like Istanbul, this like this we are having. But Jest provides out of the box all these things also. A apart from the testing structure, assertion library, and all those things, it will also provide snapshot testing, mocking, code coverage, these all things. Next one is the Jasmine. So Jasmine is also one of the testing framework which supports the BDD development. So Jest also supports this BDD development, behavior driven development, and Jasmine is also one of the testing framework which supports the BDD development, just like Jest. It has widespread Angular support for all of its versions, and it is recommended in the official Angular documentation. So normally Jasmine why it is famous is so Angular supports for all of its versions. So what are whatever the Angular versions is there, Jasmine supports all of its versions. And it is recommended in the official Angular do documentation, so that is the reason Jasmine is also one of the popular testing framework. So we we are all discussing about the testing framework. You now you have to remember, Mocha is also one of the testing framework. So before the Jest, so Mocha is also one of the popular testing framework. When the Jest was introduced, Mocha has got little bit of uh, popularity, decreased popularity. But unlike Jasmine, so Jasmine and Jest. So we need to use third-party libraries like Chai and the Sinon JS for assertion and the mocking. So Mocha is a little bit of different compared to Jest and the Jasmine. So Mocha is also a testing framework. So that means it provides the testing structure. So how to write the testing structure? It provides it. It provides you. Mocha supports the BDD development. Jest also supports the BDD development, and Jasmine also supports the BDD development. But here, Jest and Jasmine has their own assertion libraries. Something like expect to be equal. So these are the types of functions will be there, right? So Jest and Jasmine has their own assertion, but Mocha doesn't have an assertion. So we need to depend on the third-party libraries like Chai and mocking also in the Mocha it is not available. So that means function uh, dubbing, uh, stubbing these all things. So we need to use the Sinon JS, which is useful for the mocking. So these are the third-party libraries we will be using for the Mocha. So this means Mocha is a little harder to set up. And divided into more libraries, but it is more flexible and open to extensions. So this is the main thing you need to understand. So by understanding this one, Mocha installing the Mocha itself is not uh, sufficient for our, for our project to run the testing. So apart from the Mocha, we need to have the Chai and we need to have Sinan JS for mocking. And like this, we need to have the supporting libraries for the Mocha. But it is more flexible and open to the extensions. So for example, if you want to use the uh, assertion library like Chai in the Jasmine, you can use it. But Jasmine has an assertion library, you can use it. If you want Chai to use in the Jest also, you can use it. But Mocha uh, supports it is more flexible to the third-party library integration. For example, if you want special assertion logic, you can fork Chai and replace only Chai with your own assertion library. This can also be done in Jasmine, but in Mocha, this change will be more clear, expected, and obvious. So this is the thing I want to tell you. For example, if you have if you want to have special assertion logic, like you can use the chai and replace chai with the like this. But this can be also done in the Jasmine, but in the Mocha it is very clear. Q unit. This is also another testing framework. Q unit is also a powerful, easy to use JavaScript testing framework. It is original. It was originally developed for the jQuery projects. So if you have a jQuery projects and all those things, so Q unit is the better option to go. And has since evolved to test and any client side. So, but slowly going on, it has evolved to test any client side or the server side JavaScript code. So, normally, basically, at the first time, Q unit was used to test the jQuery projects. But going on, time goes on, it has evolved to test any client side JavaScript and also server side JavaScript code. Q unit has no dependencies and supports Node.js, Spider Monkey, and all other major web browsers also. So, Chai. So, this is also so many people will be confused between the Chai, Mocha, Jasmine, Jest, and all those things. So Chai is not a testing framework. Okay, it is an assertion library. It provides the functions for you to check the assertions and all those things. So Chai is a BDD or TDD assertion library for Node and the browser that can be delightly paired with any JavaScript testing framework. So this is the thing. So now we up to now we have learned about the testing frameworks. So some of the testing frameworks uh, provide you uh, has all the features in it, but some of the testing frameworks like Mocha doesn't have these things. 
it take, it gives mocka gives you the ability how to write the testing thing so the testing structure it will provide you but it doesn't have any assertion libraries and mocking and all those things if you want to have assertion library mocking in mocka means so we can use third party libraries we are free to use chai chai should.js so many things are there so we can use anything here chai is also it is also not a framework it is an assertion library so if you want to use you cannot use only chai for doing the testing thing so we can use chai in the in the jest jasmine or mocha in any testing framework we can use it so this is an assertion library karma and also this is also one of the other things so most the people mis mistake about uh, this karma and chai and all the things they will think these are also a testing frameworks but these are not testing frameworks chai is an assertion library and karma isn't a testing framework so it isn't a competitor to tools like mocha qunit or jasmine to name a few okay so karma is not a testing framework so these are not competitors to tools like mocha tools means like frameworks like mocha qunit jasmine so this just these are all the things so it is not a competitor karma is not an assertion library also so tools like chai or should.js are in competitors to karma karma is not at all assertion library also just like we have seen the most popular assertion library like chai right so karma is not an assertion library now what is a karma karma is the karma is the ability to run tests against real browsers and the real devices which makes your testing strategy more robust and reliable so karma is a nothing but a test runner tool so it will it will allow you it will make you to run the test okay it will make you to run the test against the real browsers such as uh, real devices why because so we will be having so many browsers we are having in the market so dom manipulations will be different for different browsers so karma will make you to run all your tests against all the different types of browsers according to the user configuration what is the configuration they have given and it will make your testing strategy more robust and reliable so this is the karma so karma can be used with any testing framework so karma uses the mentioned testing framework like jasmine jest or anything and it will run the test cases using those frameworks so karma give, will give you so what i can say is will give a clear report against all the browsers and devices so how what it has run and what are the reports it has generated so it will run the local web server according to the user uh, configuration and it will do it okay so this is an test runner tool chai is an assertion library and remaining all jest and all those things are testing frameworks so these are all about the unit testing frameworks so overall that are available in the market in the next video we will try to see about the e to e testing tools what are the tools tools available in the market let's try to see it hope you understood about these all testing frameworks unit testing frameworks assertion libraries and test runner tools these all the things you got a uh, clear idea i am thinking log so like that if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video so that i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you